Good morning and welcome back to the Magpie Farm on a bit of a chilly and very misty Friday morning. And this week on Magpie Farm we will be taking a look at the renovation work. So what has been completed in the last two and a half weeks since I've been away and majority of it has been done by Mariosh. So straight on to that. Don't forget, stay till the end for an announcement about the Renadex. But now, on to the renovation work. Well, as you can see from the video in front of you, we've time-lapsed a lot of this. Otherwise, you'd be watching an hour of us just cutting boards and painting. So this is the secondary bedroom in the main farmhouse, where basically it's just been made from nothing. Uh, that was just an open space just a couple of weeks ago. So we're in a good position now, uh, actually at the point where I was taping off the beams and as you can see, actually painting the walls to get the guest bedroom, as that is now going to be known, as ready as it possibly can do. And many of you will know then I had to travel to the UK recently, so then I had to disappear. And then the work went all on to Mariosh. That guy has big shoulders. He has to, to do all our work. And we are very appreciative of the work he does. Uh, he's a one in a million, put it like that. So as you can see, the floors started off that they were just the bare boards. We then had to move into a position of treating them because they were full of woodworm in certain places, or had been, and we still wasn't sure. Uh, if that was the case. So as you can see from this time-lapse video, we actually sprayed the whole area green. Uh, it's a chemical, uh, a biodegradable chemical water-based, and basically kills off the, the bugs should they emerge. So after we finished treating that, which probably took us a better part of about a week, uh, we then was able to move on to the actual laying of the boards on top of that because some of them had been eaten away. So we had to give some extra support. So as you can see here, Mariosh is actually preparing some of the boards that were going down on top of the floorboards uh, and measuring up uh, some of the boards for that. Now this was really tough work for this guy. Uh, he basically had to do the majority of this on his own because I wasn't about and those boards are bloody heavy so uh, hats off to him for that work so basically we had to cut every single board to size uh, some of them just needed a little bit of trimming but there had to be gaps in between them so they all had to be measured to ensure uh, they were the correct size and they were then basically laid in the bedroom and the landing and the spare bedroom. We were then able to move on to the next part, which was laying the laminate flooring in the main bedroom. As you can see, uh, this is about a quarter complete in the main bedroom. Uh, you will see the finished uh, effect of it all shortly. But for now, uh, as you can see, that in itself is a job and a half, uh, laying the flooring and this guy basically did this whilst working all week and uh, did it in the evenings and on the weekend. And as you can see, what a difference two weeks makes. Still not quite finished, but it's nearly there. So the laminar flooring is down. Still need to put the skirting board up, but that will get done. There's actually a bed in the spare bedroom. <laughs> And as you can see, we have started the process of lacking the beams, which basically just fetches out the original wood colour of the beams. There's a clear lack that helps define uh, the beams. I think it looks really nice. We've actually got a, a window blind put in as well. So it's coming along really nicely. And again, Marios did the majority of this work. I did the painting in this room, but the majority of the lacking of the main beams 
and the, the other beams and the flooring uh, was done solely by Marioche. You will also note there is another door. <laughs> We've actually got another door popped in to actually separate the other part of the landing, which, well, it's still just an absolute full of junk and furniture. And that will be a next year project. But for now, as you can see, the whiteboards are down here. The laminate boards will be going on in the next couple of days and the painting and the lacking of the beams will get done over the next week or so. And into the main bedroom. Excuse a lot of the mess. <laughs> but as you can see, the flooring is down. And we actually have a bedroom. And we actually have a bed. And I've actually got somewhere to put my clothes. The ensuite. Uh, we have some plans for this. This will be done now in the next couple of weeks. Probably a month or two. We decided we're going to have a, a bath with an overhead show up thank you to my father-in-law for that i knew he gave us that idea because originally we were just gonna have a shower we've already got the macerator and we've got the hand basin and we need to get the tiling done in here and there's quite a lot of other things that need to get done as well so as you can see we've got the tv here uh, we still have the green beams uh, they will get done in the next couple of weeks. They're going to get covered with uh, wood and stained. You'll also note that uh, we've started the lacking in here as a test. We put it in here first of all. We haven't finished it. We've just started a couple of beams to see what it would be like. And I'm sure you'll agree it's uh, a good effect. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it's better the lack on or like that? with no lack on at all. Tell us what you think. And welcome back to the cottage. As you can see, this is the main area of the cottage and the hardcore floor is in. It still needs two levels. There'll be styrofoam, another concrete sand mix going on top. But we are certainly getting there. Work has progressed. This has to dry for X amount of days. It's coming to the end of the uh, drying process. And the same in here, where this will be the kitchen. And this will be the bathroom. Quick look at the bedroom again. The hardcore floor is done in here. And as promised, an update on the runner decks. Yes, an order's been put in. They should be with us within the next two weeks. Look forward to the video on that. Mm -hmm.